Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Super B, 996, as per usual. And, um, <clears throat> I have a video today just talking about Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. Um, I haven't spoken about Unchained Key for quite a while now. Probably, like, November, October time was the last time I spoke about this wonderful game. Um, and I say wonderful in a sarcastic manner because no one else cares about this game. You know, apart from me, I'm actually really hyped for Unchained Key. I just want something new to play for the Kingdom Hearts franchise. I want some new stuff to speculate on. Because if you haven't noticed... Kingdom Hearts content is a bit dry at the moment, um, especially on my channel, so, you know, I want something new to speculate and theorise of, and, you know, etc. Um, but, you know, heading into 2016, it has come apparent that, where is it? It's still not out. Um, it's, it'll be a year in June that this game was announced for, you know, English audiences and stuff like that. Where is it? Why have we still got no release date? So... I have this little bit of speculation as to why we haven't got it yet, and um, that is because I feel like they're going to pull a Final Fantasy VII on PS4 um, thing here, where they announce it at an event, and then exactly a year after that event, they release it to the public. Um, so, for those who don't know, Final Fantasy VII, the Final Fantasy VII Steam port for PS4 was first announced at um, the PlayStation Experience in 2014. Then at PlayStation Experience 2015, um, they actually released it on that day, which I actually saw coming, if I'm com going to be completely honest with you guys. So, what does this mean? I feel like Square Enix, if they're going to follow trends, I feel like they're going to do this with E3. I feel like they're going to reveal some, like, a new trailer during E3, and then they're just going to say, oh, it's at... That's great and all. That's really good. I'm like, if they do that, that's great. But still, we've got to wait till June. I don't understand why it's taking them so long to bring this out. How, uh, like, you know, it shouldn't take a year after the original game's announcement. And probably Unchained Key was in development long before that to localize the game. Like, I think they're doing it worldwide. So yeah, that could be a case. That could be a case. But come on, does it really take that long? I mean. You know, I do game development, I study it, but I'm no guru, so I don't really understand how long it would take to localise a game. So, you know, I, d I just don't understand why it's taking them so long. It is a bit annoying because Square Enix... I, w I would be less annoyed if they'd actually come up and said something about Unchained Key and why it's taking so long and when we could expect it. So, or you never know, they're just going to pull it out from nowhere like Square do. But, um... What do you guys think? Do you think we could get an E3 release of this game? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, favourite, all that good stuff. And I shall speak to you guys later on.